Hallo und herzlich willkommen. Wir stehen hier am Stand von Beyond ATC mit Captain, dem Gründer und äh, Hauptentwickler von Beyond ATC, dem AI äh, Traffic Control Tool. So, Scott, you're the main developer and founder of Beyond ATC. Correct, yes. What inspired you to use uh, this AI for this tool and also not use AI in some cases? Yeah, exactly. It was uh, it kind of was the buzzword at the time, right? So everyone was getting into doing different things with AI. And it was just so cool. Like, you know, everyone was saying how interesting it was. And I kept looking at it and I'm like, what's the utility for this? And, you know, everyone's trying to, it's like in its growth stages. Everyone's trying to figure out how to use it. What can this be applied to? And we just looked at it and we're like, God, this makes a really good ATC. Like, it'd be able to talk to you, it'd be able to do interesting things. It can just, like, think better. So we're like, why don't we just take some of the things that are coming out? We saw, you know, Eleven Labs has an amazing uh, voice utility where it just sounds so realistic and we're like, what if we use this for ATC comms? And it just made so much sense for us just to try and make a program that was based on that. But then, like you were saying, we don't use it in some cases where we want really direct control over what happens inside the environment. Uh, you know, we were talking about earlier where sometimes the ATC will hallucinate or do something crazy. And we, we just wanted to make sure that we had control over what was happening within the environment. And that makes it so it does what we want, but also sounds really good while doing it. Okay, hey, sounds amazing. Yeah. And also from the reaction of our community, I think your launch was a huge success. Mm. And now you are showing off uh, traffic here in the wild at the first time. It also looks amazing, also performs amazing with the any built sceneries you have here. So what are the plans for that uh, going forward? For the different sceneries? Uh, no, for the traffic integration. Oh, the traffic integration. So we're that's what we're showing off today here at the Expo. And we are currently getting a data source from Flight Radar 24. This is a past data source. So what that enables is if someone, let's say, they get home from work, they're trying to fly, and it's 3 a.m., you know, they're really tired, and they log on, they're like, oh, I just want to get a little flight in. They go on to the airport, and there's just no airplanes there because it's the middle of the night. This enables us to say, okay, we just set the sim time to, I don't know, 8 in the morning or 12 in the afternoon, and we get a really busy airport. So that's why we want the data source that isn't live. Uh, it gives us the versatility to be able to add different Uh, airports or airplanes whenever we want, get different schedules, and of course we have a pretty wide data set, fit over 15 million different flights, so it's going to be really uh, very, very cool. Wherever you go, gate accurate, uh, they're all going to be at the right spot, you know, you get the an A380 at the big gate, the tiny little ones at the tiny gates, like it's all accurate to that, so it's really neat. That really sounds amazing. Also, I saw on your list here a new feature about a community-driven uh, sourcing of data. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's our community portal. Uh, we've always wanted to have community data be a big part of Beyond ATC because, you know, there's so many different facets to making this thing work. And like, if someone goes to their home airport and something doesn't work in the home airport, who's going to fix that? You know, no one's going to take it into their hands except for the person who wants to fix it. So the best way to do that is community source it, you know, open it up to everyone to go fix the things that they want and it helps everyone else. What we didn't want is to have everyone download individual profiles for like, let's say this airport, you have to go download the profile. Now half the people have that profile, half the people don't have it, right? That was the problem. So if we basically make a portal that is a, center, a central place that people can go and put all the data in, and then once they have that, we propagate it out to every Beyond ATC user, everyone is building the system together. And so it, it just brings it up for everyone else. One person fixes it here, it fixes it for everyone else. So we have a website that is going to, you can be able to go to it, log on with your account, submit an idea that you'd like uh, proposed. If you have like a something you'd like to have pronounced a certain way or an airport ops or runway ops, you submit that and you submit it for review. It will get reviewed and then approved or denied. If it gets approved, it pushes out to everyone and then the program is now better. So we're gonna have that coming online like, I don't know, soonish, I'm just gonna say that. All right, sounds amazing. Uh, any uh, timeline on the traffic integration availability? So the traffic, uh, as we can see, it's working pretty well right now. We're still getting a lot of things ready to go. But what we are going to do is probably within the next, I'm so hesitant to give numbers because I don't want to get misquoted on it. So please take it with a grain of salt. Uh, three to four weeks, hopefully we're going to give it out to anyone that has the supporter pack. It'll be available on the experimental branch. Uh, for people that do not own the supporter pack, it will be available, I'd say three to four months after that, once we have it a lot more tightened up and ready to go. So if you want to use it sooner, you can upgrade to the supporters pack if you don't already own it and then we can play, be all playing some traffic together, it's really fun. 
All right, looking forward to trying it at home. Any last words for our German community? Oh, I've gotten so many messages from so many German players that are using Beyond ATC, and I don't know, y'all are just so passionate and have so much great things to say about it, and like, I don't know, it's a, it just seems like a really good community, and I'm just so thankful that everyone joined the Discord and told us how much they liked it, and oh, I love flying it in you know, Berlin and all the different places. It was great. So yeah, just thank you. Appreciate it.